Rocky will tonight only on seven video shows the moment white boy Rick is released from a Florida halfway house. Tonight we are speaking exclusively with his fiance about Rick Worshi Jr. being a free man for the first time in more than 32 years. His saga started back in 1983 when he became the youngest FBI informant in history at the age of 14. In 1987, he was arrested for possessing cocaine and sentenced to life in prison in 1988. Worshi Jr. was released from a Michigan prison in 2017, then sent to a Florida halfway house. Today, 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaykat broke the story of Worshi's release online. Simon spoke exclusively with Worshi's fiance and joins us live with her message. Simon? Yeah, Alan, Carolyn, such a powerful moment earlier today, 1045 this morning. Rick Wershey Jr. went free, something he's been waiting so long for, and he went right into the arms of his fiance. I would say that it was emotional and that we're all still digesting it, but that he's happy, doing wonderful, looks great, and we look forward to the future. After serving 32 years and seven months behind bars, Rick Worshi Jr. left Kissimmee, Florida with his head high, showing a peace sign today. Having turned 51 years old, Rick begins a new chapter in life together with his fiancée, Michelle McDonald, whom he began dating in middle school. She shared with us by phone what that moment today felt like. I'm just really glad that today's here and it's now behind us. I can honestly tell you that we've, spent, we've been waiting for a really long time. I'm glad the day is here. Rick spent nearly three decades behind bars in Michigan for a nonviolent drug offense, locked up at the age of 17 to originally serve a life sentence under a law since ruled unconstitutional. The same offense today would only carry a max sentence of three years. Supporters say Wershey's cooperation against corrupt public officials proved to be the reason for a conspiracy of lies to keep him inside. Wershey, in fact, helped with the largest public corruption case in Detroit history at the time. And it was Wayne County Circuit Court Judge Dana Hathaway who later found no reason to keep Worshi locked up in Michigan. Also today, Michelle expressing gratitude to 7 Action News for truthfulness in reporting the facts leading up to Rick's release. I want to tell you that we saw your piece. Um, it was amazing. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you telling the truth. Most recently in Florida on unrelated charges, Rick was set free today due to good behavior. The former FBI informant at age 14 now starts his life over as an adult. Today was just, it was, you know, freedom. It was all about Rick. It was wonderful. He looks great. He's healthy. He's energetic. Rick truly has so much to look forward to. He is also a father and grandfather. Back to you guys. Uh, Simon, got to ask you a question. I mean, first, we know where she has been down a long road. I mean, we've all been following it. Any more insight into what's next for him? And were there any other family members there other than his fiance when he was released? Yeah, from what we saw, it was his fiance. We don't know the long term plans uh, that were she has. We do know he's going to be just taking it one day at a time. You can imagine after more than 30 years separated from the people he loves the most, including his fiance, he has a lot of catching up to do with those and, and his supporters as well. So uh, we're going to kind of take it day by day and see what happens. I certainly understand because we know he has children and a sister. And so I guess we will be following now that he's a free man at 51. Thank you so much, Simon, for the live report. Alan. And Rick Wershey's story began as a teenage FBI informant and spans more than 30 years. Head to WXYZ.com for a timeline of major events in his life. And be sure to stay with 7 Action News throughout the evening for the latest developments on this story.